And here is the any kit you ever thought you might want to build row. We got two rows here. That's the nice thing about Oshkosh. You know, I came, decided what airplane I wanted to get, looked at everything, and uh, ended up getting a uh, uh, biplane, the Great Lakes biplane, uh, after I set in a number of things. But that was the nice part about it. You could, you know, you can really just look at everything, decide what you like, what fits. They got all sorts of design. They got replicas. You can get a uh, Stewart P-51. RV-12, this is the RV section, always popular. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it, it was very sad they went through bankruptcy, and I mean, for probably one of the most popular aircraft ever, you know, kit built, that they would get into that trouble. But uh, under, I was talking to a guy, a P-36. Okay, okay. Yep. Oh, and the BD-5J. Yes, I'm going to do a video on that. We had um, a test pilot out at Edwards who they were evaluating it as a cheap alternate to teaching air combat maneuvering. And uh, it has very bad stall characteristics, I was told. And he ended up crashing it, and he was paralyzed in a wheelchair. And the interesting thing, my, my office was in the test pilot school, Air Force test pilot school. And he... Um, Across from his office there, he was an instructor, and across from his office was a picture of his class, and he's standing next to the F-104. Um, yeah, you can't be a terribly big person and set in this. Yeah, but it looks like a hoot to fly. Yes, that thing is small. Checklist. <laughs> Look at that nose gear. And that is cute. For sale, a BD-10. Ooh. That killed a couple of test pilots. That's interesting. Yeah, I was going to talk about that, too. I'll get, get around to that. I got a whole stack of videos I want to do. And, uh... Especially the BD-5... J, uh, since that crippled. The the test pilot has passed away, but he was a super good guy. Um, he helped me get the uh, all the uh, test pilot uh, books for the class while I was out there. It was kind of cool. Neat guy. I had somebody comment last year that uh, they saw the video and I went by their uh, by their booth a little too quickly. Sorry about that. Kit Fox. Big tires. There's people who do backcountry flying, and that's uh, that's an amazing, uh, I would think, very interesting thing to do. Not that I intend to do it anytime soon myself, but it would be interesting. Again, this place is just totally unpopular. Uh, the Sonics. And the Sonics Jet. That thing was kind of cool, actually. Thought that would be a fun airplane to put together. It's not all that terribly expensive, relatively, you know. Yeah, build and fly, run under 150,000. That's not bad at all. 
couldn't take the wife along, but I doubt if she would feel bad about that at all. And of course, Vans Aircraft here. This place always has a big turnout. Up to the RV-15. Yeah, I was at a Milan, Italy meeting of the site of experimental test pilots. I was presenting a paper. And Dick Van Grunsman was also presenting a paper at the time. So that was when I first got to meet him. And that, that's been, oh, 20 years or so ago, a long time ago. Bearhawk aircraft? Like I said, anything that you could dream of or would want to fly or would want to build, it is here. And Zenith Aircraft. Frozen lemonade, yes. Temperature is getting warm. And we're supposed to have uh, 35 degrees C, what's that, 90 Fahrenheit uh, tomorrow. That's supposed to be the worst day. That's probably the last day I'm going to be here. <laughs> 